Morning Year One, it's our maths today and we're going to start a new chapter in our book and it's called Addition and Subtraction Within 20, okay? So your first job is in your textbook, you need to pay, turn to page 92 and it'll look like this, or this is what the focus will look like, okay? So what you need to do is, we're going to work out how we can add 8, add 3, okay? So this is what it looks like in a number sentence. What are the different ways to add? So what can you do at home? What can you use? Or what method can you use? See what different ways you can come up with. And then have a go at doing that. And then the next page is showing you the way we're going to learn today, okay? So eight and three, we're going to count on. So we're going to put the biggest number in our head, eight. So we've got eight, and we're going to count on. So eight, nine, ten. 11 okay and if you can't do it in your head you can make a number line or you can use objects okay to help you and then you need to read the rest of that page there's another example there for you and then there is a game here you can play okay so you might not have all these resources at home but you can have a go at doing something similar to see if you can practice doing the counting on method and then You've got the guided practice, okay? So you need to add by counting on for these number sentences. If we're doing it on a number line or if we're counting our head, we need to put the biggest number in our head or on the number line to start with before we do the jumps, okay? And then once we've done this, please don't write in these books, by the way. They are textbooks. We are then going to go to our workbook, which is page 119, okay? And it looks like this. And the number one is to add by counting on. So you've got some pictures here of some race cars. So this is one group and another group. So in this group, we've got nine, which is written here. And this group, we've got two, which is written here. So nine add two equals. So if we know this is nine, we can go nine, 10, 11. So we're going to write the answer in there, okay? This is when it gets trickier though, because some other numbers are missing this time. So count these. Is that eight? If so, what goes in here? What is in this group? Count how many in here? Write it in there. And then count on to find the answer. Okay? The last one's the same again, but it's a little bit more tricky because you've got no numbers to help you at all. So how many have you got in this first group? Write it in the first box. How many have you got in the second group? Write it in the second box. And then how many have you got all together in the last box, okay? And then one more page. That looks like this. So you need to work out these number sentences and you've got a number line at the top to help you. Make sure you start on the biggest number and then do the jumps of the number next to it and write the answer in the box.